Mashtastic. Maybe not necessarily a ham radio thing, but um, I still think they could use better antennas. For those hams not familiar with what Meshtastic is, think of it as a license-free APRS light. It's a super low power 900 megahertz radio system that ends up having all these little nodes that end up meshing together and you're able to send texts and information around including GPRS and other information like weather and that kind of stuff. This comes on the LilyGo, the little antenna, and I've got the VNA and it's calibrated. Let's just do a quick analysis of this antenna and you can see that I'm in a bad environment so it's not going to be all that great but Let's just take a look here, see. I'm just gonna let it dangle. Okay, I'm not testing out here because it's like minus 30. I'm spending, geez, the least amount of time as I can outside. So that's why I'm not testing it outside. So before you complain, that's why. No, I'm getting back inside, oh my God. Okay, so there are bad antennas and then there are things like this. Um, I don't know what to say. You can see it's off the charts. Basically, this is like 3.3 to one, 3.4 to one for, for SWR, um, for those that don't know antennas, that's just usable, just, right? It's not the best. It's probably actually doing more damage to the device than you really want it to. Now, seeing as I make antennas for a living now, um, making a 915 megahertz antenna for these, um, for North America, is something that I'm going to start doing. I want you to stick around to the end of the video. I don't normally dress this dapper, but uh, I'm not gonna brag. This is a meshtastic node complete, fully functional. It turns out that if you put some iron-on backing onto Faraday cloth and then use the Cree cut to cut out the antenna, you have something that you can iron onto a ribbon and attach my BNC connector that I use for all my other antennas. It takes so little of these. It's disgusting. Like we're literally slicing a millimeter off at a time. And the fear of going over is very real. So you see that was like, what? This is 20 megahertz wide. So it's 1020 or sorry, 510. So five megahertz with, I would say three quarters of a millimeter. There he is as it gets better, the higher it goes. At about 908 megahertz, where it's really going to be good, it's at 1.3, right? Um, you go to 915, it's at 1.5, and it starts going up to about 2. 2 is usable, um, and given this environment with all the metal around me, it's, it's not that great. So how does this compare to that original antenna? Just a wee bit better. Now keep in mind that I'm measuring this in a really crappy area, and it's minus 30 out. This antenna outside about 10 feet off the ground is just about one to one for the frequencies that you want to use with the Meshtastic. Now it's bigger, it has a better range, and it does way better than the stock antenna. And it will be easier on the electronics hardware that you have. When you have three to one, that's a standing wave ratio, it means that there's reflected current actually coming back into the electronics not so good on something especially this small and delicate. The last thing you're going to need is a BNC to SMA connector. Generally the Meshtastic nodes have an SMA adapter to it. And that is how you're going to attach it to the system that I currently have. I will start looking into doing an SMA adapter board but We'll have to wait until the future for that. I had a thought. If I went to a formal occasion, how could I have something like this with me? And I figured, wait a minute, I can attach this to a tie. Now, wouldn't that just be mesh tie stick? <laughs> Since you can get these mesh tastic nodes into a very small package using the Zao board and a WOI board, wow, why oh, we get these little boards and you join them together, add a battery, how better than to flex your nerdiness than to build a mesh task? 
tie. For this to fit into the tie, we're gonna need to get rid of a lot of this bulk here. I don't want something like that dangling from my neck, and I also don't want this entire piece here. If you look on the inside here, you'll notice that the entire controller is that piece right there. And that's kind of what we're shooting for, super light. Got a battery, got the controller, comes up to the antenna, which you see on the outside, and then you have the Bluetooth antenna just there. Now, what I'm gonna do is take the IPEX connector, which is the little tiny guy that hooks up to the coaxial cable onto the board, and I'm gonna solder it onto one of my blank circuit boards. We're gonna add some hot glue for strain relief because, well, these things are tiny and they're gonna get yanked around. I'm lucky to have my assistant Autumn around to help me build some of these things and she's going to teach us a couple of things about doing iron-on stuff. Oh my god, it's not square. These are my working conditions. <laughs> so with heat and bond, it's really important that you want to press and hold because it's got a glue on the inside. If you start moving back and forth, you'll get ripples and kinks and we don't want to do that. So is that why I was getting ripples and kinks when I was trying to iron it by moving it back and forth before you told me this? Probably. Oh. Thank you, Autumn. You're, you're so welcome, Ben. These are my working conditions. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to need to punch a couple of holes for the screws through the tie. Now I'm not gonna go into how all of these electronics and everything work. There's just gonna be a link down below. And, and trust me on this, it's surprising how well put together the Meshtastic stuff is. It really is plug and play. You can just hook this up to a USB battery if you want with the stock antenna and you're good to go. In this case, I'm obviously using a small battery pack and the microcontroller so it makes for this really nice neat little package that we can throw into a tie so i also have another fresh tie stick in my pocket so i'm on that one right now and we'll do test and one two three four in case there's something else there now let's go back to bluetooth this is my other mobile then we go to four no four accepted it see 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 there's a message and it's for me and it's from this one and there's the test I'm like the best dressed, like, do you think a tie goes good with the hoodie? He works. I am king of the nerds. <laughs> there you go. That is how one can become really, really deeply unadulterated 110% grade A nerd by making a mesh-tastic tie. If you're interested, you'll find a link for VF comms down below and that will show you where you can buy the Farajay Mestastic antenna. And this can just be hung up pretty much anywhere. Let me know in the comments down below if the Mestastic tie, the mesh tie stick, is something that you'd want me to make up for you. This is Victor Echo 6, your Foxtrot X-Ray, and I'm clearing this channel.